Okay, guys, we're doing a live uh, live uh, session with Carlos. Let's work on his swing. Let's see what we got. By the way, he's a big time influencer in, uh, in Instagram, so I'll leave the link below. Yep. So, Carlos, let's see what you remember on the forehand. Let me just remind him that the good arm precision is uh, we can start arm slightly bent. And from here, and then we're going to go, go to the finish from here. Perfect. That was the finish. Perfect. Not too bad? That's good. Not too bad. Very good. I may be speaking to Carlos sometimes in Spanish, but uh, it's his native language. Perfect. Excellent. Now let's pretend that the ball is here. How would you hit it? And what we're looking for is that the strings are straight like this, not uh, open or closed. And then you want like this all the time. Arm can be slightly bent or straight is okay. And then from here, the whole arm continues to, to roll over. All right, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, for most beginners, this is actually the, the hardest part. It's understanding the, the arm motion. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. Good. Very good. Let's do a, another shadow here. So we'll start with a racket like this. Um, can I see how you hold it? You want to maybe lower the, the grip a little bit like right there. And now, from here, if we're starting from here, make sure that the wrist doesn't move or any way, that we just go slightly forward to the contact, and then we continue to roll over. So we'll do it again. So we'll start from here. We're going to go to the contact, make sure it's like straight, and then from here, it continues to roll over. I think we got it. Ready? Get set. Bingo. We do not go back. Perfect. Perfect. Let's show me that in slow motion. Go ahead. Freeze. Very good. Swing from there. Perfect. And then we do it again. Nice ready position. Go ahead. Racket goes back. Very good. Very good. Racket's going to go back. Now, if you guys are watching, the reason why I have him stop here is to prevent the arm from moving any extra sometimes prior to the forward swing. Excellent. Let's do it again. Racket's going to go back. Racket drop. We swing. Perfect. Now let's do it uh, without stopping. Ready? We're going to start from the ready position. I'm just going to toss it. Ready? Excellent. And then we do it very good. We, we took away any wasted movement. Really good. Ready? Racket back. So far we're... We're in good shape. Ready? Get set. Excellent. How do these swings uh, feel, uh, Carlos? That's just... Yeah? That's good. He said swing felt better than anything in his life. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, guys, we're going to try the backhand side. We're going to start with some easy drop feeds. I want to see what he remembers. So, right hand continental grip. And notice this is only his, this is our fifth lesson, right? So hold here. So we want to make sure that the continental grip is, is good, like this. Not too much like this way, but more like spread out, similar to forehand. A little bit more. Yeah. So we want this top finger to go a little bit more out. There we go, like this. This is good. Now we're going to put the left hand on top. Very good. We'll start in a position that looks like, like this. Perfect. From here, we're, we're good to go. Ready? Now, if you're a coach and you're watching this, what you're trying to notice is that uh, you want to make it as easy as possible for people to learn. Um, yes, sometimes you can do full swing, but sometimes it's okay to, to literally stand next to the person and just work on drop fading. 
you could do this even up to like pro level even like pro players get fed balls from, from this close but for beginners works great perfect perfect so far so good that's fine mm -hmm. he said best swings of his life <laughs> Bingo. See, all these are good. All I'm looking for here is just that it, he can go to contact and to the finish. And basically, we're just looking for the racket to be straight at contact. Like this. Oh. We'll go to here, and then we'll go to the end. That's it. As long as the racket is straight at contact, now your control goes up. Oh. Is that the mic? Oh, shoot. We have a small interruption. My my thirty dollar mic starting to show why it's thirty dollars. Ready? Bingo. Perfect. That's it. One more. Okay, now let's try from the ready position. So let's start like like this. So the left hand grip is good. The right hand we want more continental like this. And we're gonna go from here to go ahead, take the racket back like this. Yep. And then from here now we swing, and then we do it again. And then we come back to the ready position. Ready? All right, Carlos. Let's do it. Oh, let's get a little bit closer this way. Ready? So ready position, racket is like straight. Ready? Go ahead, let's take the racket back. And we swing. Perfect. And then we go back to the ready position. Now we're going to go racket back. Very good. We swing from here. And then we do it again. And then we go back to the ready position. Then we're going to go racket back. Perfect. Starting to see the pattern here, which is good. Ready position. We're going to go racket back. Perfect. We swing. Ball over the net. Ready position. Really good. Let's get two more in. Racket back. Good. From here we swing. Perfect. Let's get last one in. Racket goes back. Very well. Whoop. Good enough. Why not? Okay. Now let's do the rest where I start from here in the middle. Same thing. We'll go right hand continental, left hand right here on top. So same grip. We want to make sure like right hand here, left hand there. Now we're going to go rack it back. We may have to move a little bit. And then we're going to go to the finish. And then we come back. We go here, rack it back, finish, and then come back. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Get set. So let's start with the ready position straight. Maybe like like this and right hand more confident. There you go. Ready? So rack it back. Bingo. And then we go back. Ready? Rack it back. We move a little bit. Perfect. And then we go back. Ready position. Rack it goes back. Bingo. That's it. Ready position. Rack it back. Step, step, step. Perfect. Let's test out Carlos. This is lesson number five ever. Ready? Let's do it. And if you guys are wondering, we're playing with the Red Bulls. <laughs> the Red Bulls make learning a little bit easier. Because everything is so slow. So because the ball bounces slow, easier to have time to do the, the proper swing. Perfect. That one was a really good one. Perfect. So all I'm looking for is the take back and the finish. And once the student can do the finish, basically they've learned, uh, they've learned a thing or two. Now it's no longer just uh see. 
Oh, that's it, that's it. Ready? Very good. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so far it's really good with the the Red Bulls. Guys, if you're watching this and you're a coach, highly recommend that you use the Red Bulls, especially for a beginner. Beginner, intermediate, they could use the the little bit of time that the Red Bull gives you. Very good, very good, Carlos. Very good. Now for the last thing, um, let's keep hitting, but let's try to be slightly more active with the with the legs. We want to look like like Novak Djokovic. Perfect. A little active with the legs, and then we're good. And by the way, for anybody that I train, uh, you're not gonna get away with not moving your feet unless you're an older person and you have knee problems. But I always encourage some type of movement of the legs because tennis starts with the legs. Um, I may not make you move like crazy, but it's always good to have the feet slightly moving. Kind of like easy step, easy swing. All right, last two. Why not? Bingo. All right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Carlos, thank you. How did it feel? Pretty good? Yeah. All right, the mic's still on. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Until... Until next time, peace.